Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariah, and here on my channel I post lifestyle, university, and physiotherapy related content. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell to all so you never miss a video. Yeah. <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to read you my University of Birmingham personal statement, and I think it would be a good way to help people know how to write a master's personal statement because ideally, I don't feel like I could do an actual video of me just giving tips on how to write a master's personal statement. So it's easier for me to read mine out, and you take what you wish of it obviously do not copy it but like um, you know use it as inspiration or like whatever however it can help you in that sense but yeah mine's um a page and a half long it may sound like a lot for most other universities in word wise i think it's like it's a hundred eight hundred and thirty words in total Bone didn't really give us a word count they just gave us a page limit and said you can write any more than three pages and I feel like three pages would have been a bit unnecessary anyway, unless you were really waffling or you had a lot of experience to cover. Um, but yeah, I feel like I did a good job. I'm not saying it's the gold standard as the best, but I feel like I did decent. Anyway, I'm going to get on with reading it. Alright, so my intro is, I have been dedicated to physiotherapy since my initial shadowing experience and maintained my desire for the profession throughout my undergraduate studies. A physiotherapist helps people prevent, cope with and treat their physical problems using exercise amongst other therapeutic practices. Through research and experience I have learned that is a broad profession with many prospects for growth. The course and career of physiotherapy incorporate my interests and final year modules from my undergraduate degree. Throughout my time at university I participated in my primary in primary care related extracurricular activities. When I started at the University of Hertfordshire, I joined the uh, St John's Ambulance Society. Then I went on to volunteer for them at the 2018 London Marathon as a first aider. Attending the society taught me how to communicate and handle people in vulnerable situations. In 2014, I shadowed a physiotherapist for two days at my local hospital. The experience was insightful covering four different departments of home therapy, SRT, GSU and outpatients. I observed a range of treatments like the use of massage to aid blood circulation and resistance bands to strengthen muscles. The experience gave me a deeper appreciation for physiotherapy. I recognise that being a physiotherapist will consist of more than the capacity to rehabilitate but the capacity to empathise with patients. To gain a better understanding of the NHS, I returned for an additional two weeks of work experience under the cardiology department. I recognised that the team, I recognised the team, the teamwork and the interaction between the departments of the hospital. I discovered that cardiologists often work alongside physiotherapists to rehabilitate patients. The next year, I studied abroad at the College of Charleston. I can. Next year, when I studied abroad at the College of Charleston, I continued to make the most of my opportunities. I shadowed an athletic trainer for three months in their college's sports medicine clinic. I often got to assist in taping ankles or by going through the exercises with the athletes. Though an athletic trainer is not the same thing as a physiotherapist, the jobs have their similarities. That opportunity provided me with an understanding of what it would be like to work with one specific population. As well as, sorry, I'm trying to find a thing. As, as well as shadowing, I volunteered as a, I volunteered for eight months as a social mentor in the REACH program. The program worked with students with developmental and psychological disabilities, supporting them with gaining university certificate. My role as a social mentor was to guide me with, guide my mentee through the university experience. My involvement in each of those experiences I participated in during my time at the University of Hertfordshire allowed me to obtain a Gold Go Hearts Award upon graduation. The year abroad also helped me succeed in my final year. After transferring universities, my grades declined and I adjust as I adjusted to the new teaching approach and environment. I then struggled with just some family things, that's a more call go into that. And I felt that I was okay to sit the exam within days of experience in those, but I was not. The opportunity to study abroad gave me the space to heal and refocus. The style of teaching in America placed pressure on me 
to become even more productive with my free time. When returning from my study abroad year, I carried over the consistent productivity to boost my expected degree classification. Away from studying, I helped I help my mom care for my grandfather, and due to the current pandemic, I was helping more. Again, I'm not going into that personal issues. <laughs> was so cool. So there, and besides caring for my grandfather, I have I have several creative outlets that I enjoy. Photography, puzzles, and video production have taught me many useful skills. I have become more detail focused and bettered my critical thinking as well as my problem solving abilities. These are transferable skills which are relevant to being a student and a physiotherapist. The way the university has structured its physiotherapy course is ideal for me. Learning the core content in the first year whilst also having the opportunity to go on two placements allow me to develop my clinical skills and highlight potential areas for improvement before the final year. The University of Birmingham has partnerships with many great, great hospitals across the West Midlands. Knowing that the university is also a Russell Group member assures me that I'll be taught with recent and upcoming research. There are a range of desirable extracurricular programs which I wish to participate in. For instance, the Open Access Learning Language course appeals to me as a way to increase my communication with others and employability. Physiotherapists work with people of different backgrounds and abilities. My experiences have allowed me to do the same. The University of Birmingham is known as known to be one of the top universities for physiotherapy, offering a well-rounded student experience. Therefore, I believe that the university would be a great institution for me to continue my professional and academic growth. So I am delight I am delighted about this impending opportunity to progress onto a pre-reg like a yeah, pre-registration of postgraduate degree and that is my personal statement <clears throat> what I like about it is that I feel like I was really honest and I went through everything way better than I did in my transfer personal statement which obviously I wrote years ago um, but you can check that video out as well if you're interested in transferring universities but yeah um, so in that one that old personal statement it was more like a broken down and I just kind of said oh yeah I did this shadowing and I never really went into what I learned from the shadowing whereas in this one I touched on what I learned and like how I grew as a person as, as you see I spoke about my undergraduate degree and how that helped me and how it like shaped who I am now and like I also spoke on the fact that like my grades dropped because they're going to see that on your transcript and I didn't want them to think oh she was like I don't know doing typical student stuff and just out partying and then her grades dropped and she was just being stupid. No, they dropped for valid reasons. And like I expressed that, you know, I was aware of the drop, I wasn't happy with the drop and, you know, I did what I had to do to pull it back and I pulled it back, hence why I'm here. So little things like that, I feel like just being honest, being completely transparent with them is the best approach rather than like them drawing their own conclusions or you not saying anything and just hoping they don't realise, you know? So that's kind of the approach I took with it. Um, yeah, but I do really like the way the course has been structured and shaped and I'll probably do a video at some point, maybe at the end of the semester, about how this module, this semester has been broken down in terms of how often a week I go in and like how many hours a week I'm in and stuff like that. But that's not for this video. But I hope you enjoyed me reading my personal statement for the University of Birmingham and maybe it encourages you to come to Birmingham or maybe it encourages you to look into being a physiotherapist if you found anything interesting there if you have any questions you know you can dm me on instagram or just leave them down in the comment below and i'll be sure to get back to you but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.